What's up people, Marco here, welcome back to another lesson. Let's talk about phrasing on the electric guitar over the Neo Soul backing track. Now let me say this right away guys, before we even get started. Let me tell you, we are trying to be as melodic as possible. So this is not about improvising over the backing track, even though of course you can. But I wanna show you how we can put together a bunch of nice and beautiful phrases that work really well together. So the goal here is really about trying to be as melodic as possible. Also, another goal is that we wanna try to outline the chords melodically. So I'm sure you're gonna love this uh, lesson, guys, because there's going to be so much going on and I'm gonna break down each single line step by step, note by note, and I'm gonna also analyze what I am playing. Let's quickly talk about backing track and the chord progression. We are in the key of E minor and we're gonna start with the chord four, the A minor nine, the B seven flat 13, and the E minor nine. We have it twice, so the second time we're gonna start with the same chord, A minor nine, the same B seven flat 13, and then we have minor 9 and then this chord which is a C sharp half diminished chord but we can also consider this chord to be an E minor chord an E minor triad with a major sixth on the bass it's a nice and lovely chord number one is called the bluesy phrase and it sounds like this now the position in which we are playing this phrase is within this pentatonic shape But we also have the blues note right here. Now we're going to outline the chord with the first note of each phrase. So we're gonna have this one is over the A minor 9. So we're gonna start with this note, which is the minor third, the minor third of the A minor nine. And then we have the phrase on the second string, on the fret 12, and then this nice pull off with the blues note. And then we have the pentatonic scale on 12, nine, 12, 12, and then the fret number 10 on the B string. So, now for the second chord, the B7 flat 13, I'm just gonna change the first note and I'm gonna go down to the fret number nine, which is the note B. So I'm gonna play the same phrase, I'm only changing the starting note. Now the third phrase is played over the E minor 9. So the first note we're gonna play is the note E on the G string fret number 9. And we're gonna play a nice and lovely bluesy lick. So we have the G string fret number 9, and then the same slide between 11 and 12, and then the pentatonic scale on the fret number 10 and 12, I'm holding down this fret 12 and then I play the B string fret number 11 and a quick pull off on the fret number 10. This is really bluesy. And I'm gonna keep the same rhythm also on the next phrase. 
which is played right here in this position. So fret number seven, position seven with this pentatonic. But I'm also adding a few more notes. So we're gonna start with the note B on the D string for number nine. And we have this nice chromatic phrase right um, on the B string fret number seven, which is the major nine of this chord. But we're gonna approach this note starting from D fret number six. And then a few more notes, always on the B string. And you can approach this um, fret seven with even more notes. You can slide uh, a few more times if you want. Now the second leg is called the melodic phrase. And I called it like this because it's quite of a melodic uh, line played with the minor scale. It sounds like this. So I'm playing the E minor scale in this position, fret 12. And I'm gonna start with these notes. So I literally have just the minor scale on one string. But of course we can interpret these notes. Sometimes I can pluck uh, you know, some of these notes twice and give it a little bit more rhythm. And we're gonna do the same thing on the second string. So I have the first note, which is on the D string fret number 14. And then I have the fret number 15. I'm gonna get this note with a slide. 13, 12, and then this beautiful note, which is kind of out of the E minor scale, um, is a D sharp, and it's played on the fret number 13 on the D string, uh, which is going to outline the uh, B major chord. And we're gonna play it again on the fret number 16 and then 17. And then we finish with this bluesy phrase, which I like to play, um, you know, with a little bit of a different tone. So I like to pick the strings closer to the bridge. I really like this bend on the 12 string, 12 fret on the G string. Now let me play this phrase over the backing track. Now the phrase number three is what I call the chromatic phrase, and it sounds like this. We are playing this phrase in a different position of the neck. In fact, we are still playing obviously the uh, E minor scale, but now we are in this position. But of course, we are using a lot of chromatic notes. Now, the first thing we're gonna play the chord, this lovely A minor at 11 chord, which is seven, nine, eight, and 10. But you can also just play the top three strings without the root note. And then we have this chromatic phrase. Very, very jazzy. So the first note is the, uh, the one on the G string, the fret number nine, and then... So we're gonna approach the chromatic notes with a slide. So from nine to 10, nine and eight. And then this lovely phrase on the G string, just three notes, and then one more chromatic phrase. We're always sliding into the first note, so from six to seven, six and 10 on the B string. Such a nice phrase. Now 
Now we're going to do the same rhythmic and melodic idea. Which is pretty cool. It's just the same thing, just one set of strings down. So we start with the front of a 9 on the D string, and then the same chromatic phrase on the B string. The same chromatic phrase on the D string now. And then we have the B string. Uh, front number seven, we slide into it, six, and nine on the G string. We repeat that a few more times. And we finish with this chromatic phrase on the G string. And two notes from the pentatonic scale. The last phrase is also the most melodic and is entirely played with octaves. In fact, I call it the octaves phrase. It sounds like this. So we are playing the same uh, octave uh, shape, which is this one. We have, of course, the root note with the index finger and then the other one with the Pinky. Uh, so we're going to start on the A and the G string, and we're always going to kind of approach these notes with the uh, chromatic with the chromatic note. And I like to start with the thumb uh, so that I can give you a little bit more of a jazzy tone. So. And then we're gonna start picking with the guitar pick so that we can open up the tone slightly. So. And this is a little bit more challenging as we are changing set of strings and also the position is slightly different. The shape is slightly different. So we have the fret number nine. The fret number nine on the D string. But now the shape is a little bit stretched here because in order to get the octave, with the root note on the D string, we have to stretch um, one more fret. And so, then we have the fret number seven, and then the fret number 11, which we're going to approach chromatically. And then this nice phrase on the 11, 12, 14, and 11. Of course, guys, you can stream the backing track on the website, but if you want to download it, make sure that uh, you check the Patreon page. You can get the tab, get the backing track, and also, of course, support this channel. Now, let's get started with the lesson.